The track scopes and spectrum panel allows you to examine audio signals in real time by providing two different visual representations of your song. When the panel is open, you can expand its vertical size by click dragging the horizontal bar just beneath it. The icons for toggling the panel can be found near the top right of the interface. Note that you can have the panel independently open or closed when viewing the pattern editor and mixer or the instrument editor. The track scopes show the audio output from all tracks simultaneously. The waveform represents not just the volume of the sound, but also its basic frequency characteristics. So bass sounds will appear broad and flat, while high pitches look sharp and jagged. MIDI instruments, which only send MIDI events and thus have no audio visualisation, are represented by a small red dot in the lower right corner of the scopes. The currently selected track is highlighted with a different text colour. At the left side of each scope is the track name and number. If the track is part of a group or is routed to a send track, then this will be shown next to the track number. The background of the scopes can be coloured to match the track colours, if they're active. Go to Preferences, GUI, Scopes and activate Show Track Colour Blends. Using the mouse on the scopes allows for a number of useful shortcuts. The Pattern Editor's current track can be changed by clicking on its name or by scrolling through the tracks with the mouse wheel. Left clicking a scope will mute the audio coming from that track and left clicking again will unmute it. Right clicking will solo a track which mutes all of the others so that only the audio from that track is heard. Right clicking again will unmute the other tracks. The middle mouse button will mute this track for the current pattern of the pattern sequence. Note that if the mute mode is set to mute in the preferences menu, the scope will display mute instead of off. These two different modes affect the song's playback in the following way. When set to off, Muting a track will act as a note-off event for any instruments playing in the track, so you may hear them carry on until finished. New notes and effect commands playing in the track will not be triggered while the mute is active. When set to mute, muting a track will immediately silence all audio. New notes and effect commands playing in a track will still be triggered while the mute is active. So unmuting will instantly bring back all audio. The Spectrum analyses the spectral composition of the audio produced by the selected track and display the results within the dynamic range of human hearing, roughly 20 to 20,000 Hz. This can be useful in analysing the character of your music and noting whether any frequencies are dominating or lacking in the mix. For an exact value of both the frequency and volume at a specific point, move the mouse pointer 
into the grid and it will transform into a cross. The frequency and volume values present at the centre of the cross will be shown at the top and left sides of the grid respectively. At the right hand side is a phase meter displaying the stereo balance and phase of the master audio output. Directly underneath this is the phase correlation meter which shows you how in or out of phase the left and right signals are. Right clicking on the spectrum or pressing this button will open a menu. If you'd like a full explanation of everything here check out the track scopes and spectrum section of the user manual but it's worth being aware of a few of the more important options. Show scopes will display the audio produced by the master track in stereo. It can be a useful visual tool for examining the amplitude of the left and right channels of your final mix. With track display you can select two sound sources to compare against each other in the spectrum. You can choose from any available track, group or send. And the drawing mode provides four different visual styles to choose from.